EPP from Armenia. Thank you, Madam Chair. COVID-19 drastically changed our life. I remember the first day of dissemination of this disease, then everybody everywhere dreamed to have a vaccine, to get this vaccine, and to be alive. Because everybody was scared, everybody dreamed about getting anything, any medicine against it, and it was a terra, terra incognita for all of us. Fortunately and unfortunately, when the first vaccines arrived, we faced the problem of, you know, different ambitions from many countries, many organizations and many medical and other circles trying to get the good and bad vaccines. And this made our life even more complicated, complicated from the different purposes, complicated from the first, the opportunity to choose, to try to understand which kind of vaccine should be used. And the second, the limitation of vaccine in different countries. I, I remember in my country, we have a lot of different tourists who come to Armenia just to get their vaccines. And this situation with the lack of vaccines and the second, the situation with the differences in vaccines and different approaches towards them made our complicated life even more complicated. What kind of problems we face afterwards? We face afterwards the problem of bureaucratization of vaccination as such. I, as a reporter on the issue of the COVID-19 and the rule of law, strictly remember that this limitation should, be, should have so-called sunset clauses. They should start it and they should be limited. But unfortunately, up to today, it is not clear where, how, and why this or that limitation is still kept, and what should be our behavior. For sure, we understood perfectly well that from the legal perspective, it is very legitimate to limit the rights of people who may be a threat to the public health. But simultaneously, very often, this creates just a bureaucratic problems instead of creating situation where vaccines actually provide us better life. I will share my personal experience traveling with the connection flight with the different countries which do not recognize each other vaccines. It become a mess because you can, you can do nothing from a medical perspective. You can have uh, two vaccines simultaneously. Nevertheless, these kind of problems are still continuing to be among us. So we should be very precise. We should be very clear that vaccination is quite important. And discrimination of the people vaccinated by this or that vaccine or creating advantages or disadvantages for the people who are vaccinated or not vaccinated may create an additional threat to the European values, to the European Convention of Human Rights, and be an additional headache for the development of human rights in democracy in the Council of Europe. Thank you. Thank you. In the debate, I call 